Yo, what is up with y'all boys and girls, man? Hey, it's Jay Briggs here continuing to cook up this NBA action. Y'all know what we do around the jam session. We cook up every single game, every single day. Small card today, just five games, but I'm finna cook them up nonetheless right here for you guys right now. Of course, I already cooked up all the NFL games as well already up on the channel. If you guys want to watch that, it is NFL Sunday, but this is still my NBA jam session, and you know I'm still going to talk some hoops, so excited to do that. Let's make some money on a money-making Sunday. If you rocking with me, rock with me. Of course, I got premium plays over at the site. Link for that in the description. I'm active on Twitter all day. Link for that in the description. So, again, if you rocking with me, rock with me. Let's make some money today on this beautiful Sunday. And without further ado, man, let's hop right into tonight's NBA action. First game up, we got the Phoenix Suns out on the road facing the Detroit Pistons. Pistons getting five and a half as home underdogs here in this one. It's a tough game because both of these two teams are struggling right now. Um, of course, we know the Suns, they just lost back-to-back -to, -back to San Antonio as nice-sized favorites in both. And the Pistons, man, what have they done? Lost three straight, um, really lost all three by nine plus. They, they're in a little funk right now. And because the Pistons are in a little funk right now, I can't take them plus the points. You know, I like the Pistons. We're going to be able to make money a ton this season betting the Pistons. But when bad teams go through bad stretches, we leave them alone. And that's what we're doing with the Detroit Pistons. I like taking good teams in bounce back spots. And that's what I think we have the Phoenix Suns in here. If you can allow the Portland Trailblazers to come into your building and beat you up by nine, I think the Suns can too. Um, I'm somebody who's higher on the Spurs than most. So, hey, what are you going to do, man? Dude, 7-5. Yeah, I mean, that's he is what it is. He's a unicorn. It's something we've never seen in the league. Bo Bo is not Victor Wimbayama. Stop trying to let Shaq and all the people tell you that. He is far from that. His talent level surpasses Bo Bo tremendously. He is that guy, man. Wimby is him. He's going to make an all-star this year and probably be a starter as a rookie. He's that good. Um, and the Spurs are not nearly going to be as bad as they were last year. So I'm not reading too much into the Suns in their first action going up against the Unicorn losing. Um, it happens. This should be a bounce back spot for a good team. The Pistons going through a rough stretch right now. Until they come up out of it, we're going to fade them. And it starts with taking the Phoenix Suns tonight. I'm going to lay the points with them out on the road. They're the much better team. I think defensively we see them look better. Devin Booker's back in the fold, you know, pick and roll with Nurkic, kicking out to Akogi, Kevin Durant, and company. Another game under his belt. I think we see the Suns hoop tonight. I'm going to lay the points out on the road. Next game up, man, we got the Toronto Raptors out on the road facing the San Antonio Spurs. Spurs, home dogs in this one, getting three at the crib. This is how I think about this game. This is what I think about this game. I think this point spread is indicative of who these two teams were last year. Based off what I've seen thus far this season, there's no way in hell the Raptors should be a road favorite. It's just how I see it. So with that being said, of course, I'm grabbing the points with the San Antonio Spurs. And I'm going to sprinkle a bit on the money line as well. I think they're actually playing the better basketball. Here's what I think about the Raptors. I've said this countless amount of times. This is one of the worst Toronto Raptors teams in recent memory. Um, it just is. And I think they're heading for a blow up sooner rather than later. What we've seen from the Raptors is they're a two and four team. They got two wins this year. Both were at the crib. Start their season off beating the Minnesota Timberwolves, aka the House of Disappointment. No shocker there. When the Raptors do hoop, they hoop at home. And then their other win, they took Milwaukee behind the woodshed, 130-111. But where was that? In Toronto, where they play their best basketball. We've seen them now play two games. They've only played two games on the road thus far this season. They've lost two at home to Portland and Philadelphia took them behind the woodshed at the crib. The other two games we've seen them play were out on the road. They played Chicago out there. Um, they lost that game 104-103. They did cover, but they had a huge lead in that game. There was no way they should have lost that game. Uh, got in foul trouble late, pooped it away in the end. And then they got their doors blown off by Philadelphia out on the road, 114 to 99. So what we've seen on the road from them is a huge collapse and just a not, not even compete against the Philadelphia 76ers. I think that's a bad, bad, bad place to be heading into San Antonio, man. San Antonio's actually playing really well right now. They've won three of their last four, just smacked up Phoenix twice out on the road. Wimby is starting to get his legs underneath him. 
I hate that Devin Vassell will not play. He has been hooping for the Spurs. He he will not play tonight. But I still think San Antonio, A, matches up really well with Toronto. B, Toronto's on the do not bet list. And C, we're not laying points with the Raptors on the road. It's just a terrible place to be. So with that being said, I'm taking a team that's playing A, the better basketball. B, I think, has the better player. C, has the better head coach. D, they're at home. All signs for me point to taking the San Antonio Spurs. We're going to fade the Toronto Raptors. More often than not, they're on the do not bet list for a reason. Give me San Antonio plus the three at the crib. Next game up, man, we got the Golden State Warriors out on the road facing the Cleveland Cavaliers. Cleveland laying one and a half here in this one. Again, I think this point spread is more indicative of what these two teams were last year than what they are right now currently today. The reason I think that is because the Cleveland Cavaliers have not hooped at the crib. What are the signs that show that the Cleveland Cavaliers this season have hooped at home? I, I can't find them. I see a three-point loss to Oklahoma City at home. I see a... 12-point loss to the Indiana Pacers at home. And I see an 18-point loss to the New York Knicks at home. The Cleveland Cavaliers have not been hooping. As you see on your screen, they're also one of the worst ATS teams in the NBA at 1-5 against the number to begin the season. Last season, the Cleveland Cavaliers were profitable at home. At uh, at home, They were. They were a great home money-making team last season. But as I told you guys coming into this year, the way they got dismantled in the postseason last year by the Knicks was very discouraging. And I am not looking to bet this team a lot this season. Um, I really intend to fade them. The way they got bullied was, was glaring. It was. And to begin this season, man, they've shown them same tendencies. They are getting healthier. Darius Garland's back in the fold and Jared Allen's back in the fold. But I don't think it means much in the grand scheme of things. Now, let's flip sides. The Golden State Warriors, man. They are a weird team to figure out. Last season, they were the absolute worst road ATS team in the NBA. If you faded the Golden State Warriors out on the road last year, you made a ton of money because they were terrible. I'm talking about as bad as it gets. Matter of fact, let me pull it up. The Golden State Warriors last year on the road were 13 and 34 against the spread. 13 and 34. They only covered in 27.7% of their games. Hell, I think they only had 12 wins straight up on the road last year. The Golden State Warriors were as bad as it got on the road last season. But they've done a complete 180. Um, they have five wins this year. All five of those. No, take that back. They have five wins this year. Four of those were on the road. Uh, they got one win at home, and they failed to cover in that win at home. So they're undefeated ATS out on the road this season, and they haven't covered at home. That's a complete 180 from the team they were last year. They were the best home ATS team and the worst road ATS team last year in the same season. Thus far this season, they hooped on the road, 4-0 ATS, and have yet to cover a point spread at the crib. Isn't that crazy? With that being said, though, they've played four of their last five out on the road. They've won all four of those, covered in all of those. I got to take them here. Uh, I'm taking the Warriors plus the one and a half. I think they win the game straight up. I've seen nothing from Cleveland to suggest that they automatically wake up and decide to hoop at home against a team who is actually hooping right now, a team that's won five straight. Four of those five were out on the road playing really good basketball right now. I know Klay Thompson probably won't play, but they still got Chris Paul. They got guys to come off this bench and be just fine. Give me the Golden State Warriors. I think they beat up on Cleveland out on the road. In our next matchup, man, we got the Charlotte Hornets out on the road facing my favorite team, the Dallas Mavericks. Mavs laying a humongous number in this one, laying 11 and a half. These were the spots that got us in major trouble last season, uh, betting the Dallas Mavericks. Them as a huge favorite against bad teams, and they just more often than not would win and not cover. With that being said is I've said, and I'm on record saying that this is a different Dallas Mavericks team than last season. And I firmly do believe that. This is a team that only has one loss, and that loss is out on the road against the Denver Nuggets, who go A, stupid, dummy, crazy at the crib, and B, are the defending champs. So I'm not selling stock on my Dallas Mavericks team. They just lost to a team that's better than them, flat out. whoop de doo um, This here is not that. They're at home facing a team that they are head and shoulders better than. And the Hornets are on the back end of a back-to-back -back where they had to travel. Um, 
The Hornets, man, they did get a dub yesterday. They burned me yesterday. I had the Pacers. They did beat them boys outright. But on the second leg of a back-to-back, -back, traveling to Dallas, a team that, again, is head and shoulders better than them, I don't think those same things that were working yesterday against Indiana work here. Even still, Halliburton went absolutely bananas on them boys yesterday. So if Halliburton had, what do you have, like 45? Luka may go for 50 today. He may go for 50. This Mavs team is not the same Mavs team from last year. I love the addition of Grant Williams, of Derek Lively. I think they get up and down here. I could see them blowing out this Charlotte Hornets team in a bad spot. It's basically all I'm saying. I understand why the line is where it's at. I'm personally laying the points with the Dallas Mavs. If you don't want to lay the huge number, don't do it. But me personally, I think it's a great spot. I really do. The Hornets, it's a terrible spot. Back end of a back-to-back -back with travel, going up against a team that's head and shoulders better than you. Um, and you were in a dogfight yesterday. I think we see some dead legs from the Hornets. I think the Mavs run them out of the gym today. I'm going to lay the points with the Mavs. In our last and final matchup of the night, we got the Memphis Grizzlies out on the road facing the Portland Trail Blazers. Portland getting two and a half as home dogs in this one. We just saw this game the other night. What has changed? In my opinion, nothing. I'm taking the Blazers again as the home dog. This is not a good Grizzlies team. Take the Grizzly that you've known from the past few seasons and throw that out the window. That is not who they are right now. This is not a good Grizzlies team. And that is evident as, what are they, the only team without a win? And remember... The reason I keep fading them right now, when they get back home, they're probably going to get their first win. Um, I could see it when they get back home. But remember, the Memphis Grizzlies were straight ass out on the road last season. One of the worst road ATS teams in all of the league. If you were betting the Grizzlies last year, then you should know the Grizzlies do not cover out on the road. That's just something they do not do. Let me pull it up right quick for you guys because I hate just spewing out stuff like that and not telling you guys the actual number. The Memphis Grizzlies, as an away team last year, out on the road, were 14-29-1 ATS. They only covered in 32.6% of their games. And they're worse this year than they were last year. Portland, they got a bad stigma on them, man. I've even said they're the worst team in the NBA. But, hell, even they got three wins. They're hooping right now. Take in the Portland Trail Blazers. I think they keep it rolling. I don't think they actually get to above 500 tonight. This Grizzlies team is terrible, and I don't see them getting it together out on the road, man. They struggled mightily out there last year. We've already seen flashes of them doing it again this year. Portland's just playing the better basketball right now today, and we're getting them at plus money as a home dog. You don't get this very often. Give me the Trailblazers plus the points and straight up on the money line to close out our night. And that's going to conclude this episode of my NBA Jam Session. As always, I appreciate every last one of you guys watching this video. Smash that like button for your guy, man. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you're rocking with me, rock with me, man. I got premium plays over at the site. Link for that in the description. I'm active on Twitter all day as well. Link for that in the description as well. So, hey, I appreciate every last one of you guys. Cooked up both NFL and NBA for you guys today. Both videos are up on the channel. Of course, you're watching the NBA one right now, but... Check out the NFL one right after this. I appreciate every last one of you guys. Let's make some money today. See y'all later. I'm out of here. Peace.